Yo, and this is the ViewSonic PX706 HD. The box highlights ViewSonic's logo showcasing short throw, which is the main feature. At the bottom, you can see the different key selling points such as Super Color, 3x Fast Input for Gaming, 1080p Full HD, HDMI, and USB-C. Inside the box, a manual with free battery for remote control. A USB Type-C connector, which is 1.8 meters long. Type-C and Type-G power cables. And a remote control. So this is it, a sturdy looking neat white projector with pretty basic functions that you can see outside the device. It's not that heavy unlike the other projectors with the same build in quality. And net kg is 2.7. 3.5mm audio in and out, HDMI 1 and 2, USB-C, VGA in, RS-232, mini USB, RCA video in. The ventilation grille is quite spacious and has a 1.2x optical zoom lens in the front. As you can see, there is a lens cap wherein other projectors don't have. Thank you for that, ViewSonic. B-roll is coming up, so check this out. You can save electricity by choosing the mode that fits to the ambience of your room. Options for Normal, Echo, Dynamic Echo, and Super Echo. It has also Vertical Digital Keystone Correction. Inside the menu are the Display Options, Image, Power Management, Basic, Advanced, System, and information. Brightness of 3000 ANSI lumens. Dynamic contrast ratio of 22000 is to 1. Color temp modes are warm, normal, and cool. Under color mode, you can choose sports, movie, gaming. and standard. On ViewSonic website under overview, you can see that they boasted about low input latency for action-packed gaming. Bright images in any environment. Large images in small spaces. Watching movies and playing games to their smartphones. Speaker Sonic Expert Technology. Also, dual 3D Blu ray ready, HDMI inputs, and automatic vertical keystone correction. For more info about the specification and overview, you can visit the ViewSonic website and uh, I will post the link down below. ProjectorCentral.com has been so nice to create this short row distance calculator wherein you can definitely measure first the outcome of the spacing between the screen and the device if you have a small tight space like mine. Display size is from 60 inches with 1.5 meters distance and 120 inches with 3 meters distance. If you set the projector into normal mode, then the lamp life is 4000, 
that's almost five and a half months continuous viewing. And if you choose dynamic echo mode, then it will produce a 15,000 lamp life or around a year and seven months continuous viewing. But normally, we're using this projector around four to five hours a day. So we're good to go up to eight years lamp life. Right now, 3x input lag did an amazing job by delivering smooth images without delay, boasting an ultra low 16 milliseconds input latency that will surely put you into a superb gaming experience. I'm testing an online game called Warface. I chose this because aside from the fact that I've been playing this awesome game for years now, literally. It entertains me a lot with mind-blowing graphics and fast-paced gaming environment. If you want to know more about Warface, then I will post the link down below. Browsing from smartphones has become a habit and trend. However, it would be so much better if you experience it on a 100-inch screen. Gaming and watching movies using only a smartphone is enough to make your day. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a wireless connectivity, so by connecting USB Type-C from the projector to your smartphone should be bearable if you don't have any options to connect to PC or any other gaming devices. I tested the PUBG Mobile using the Type-C connector and uh, although I didn't even activate the 3x input uh, feature, but it surely served the purpose of gaming because accuracy and low latency are there. My first screen was the vinyl type and it didn't last because the crippled part is very visible. I also once used the grey cloth but it serves the purpose if you can't avoid the light source coming from the window. Other than that, the white color is deprived, but the black color is rich. And now I'm using the pure white cloth and it gave me comfortability because of how it produced the level of brightness and contrast. Yes, the max resolution is 1920 by 1080p for both PC and Mac computers. But I can't deny the fact that although it produces max 1080p resolution, still, if you play 4K trailers or videos from any other sources such as YouTube, then the result is flawless. Want to know more about the background LED light I am using? Absolutely! I will make a review for that, so stick around and if you feel that this review slash unboxing is awesome, then please hit the like button. This is my first video ever, so please subscribe and I promise you guys to do more of these soon. Big tank.